see the fear inside your eyes I see the pain in your smile I can finally see you now Wyan and her husband Jimin sat in the living room. They couldn't help but smile as they watched their adorable three-year-old daughter Haru playing with her toys. Suddenly, Haru walked up to them and tugged on Wyan's shirt. Looking up at her with her big, innocent eyes, Mommy, I want a baby butter. Can we have a baby butter soon? She asked sweetly. Wyan and Jimin exchanged glances, knowing that this was a question they had been dreading. They both loved Haru. Dearly, but the thought of adding another child to the mix was a bit overwhelming. Jimin looked at Wyan, unsure of how to respond. He knew that Wyan had always wanted a big family, but he wasn't so sure he was ready for another child right now. Well, sweetie, he said gently, babies take a long time to grow inside mommy's tummy. And we'd have to talk to the doctor to see when that could happen. Why do you want our baby brother so much? Haru's big eyes filled with tears and she buried her face in Vyan's lap. Haru sniffled, clinging to Vyan. I just want someone to play with. I love you and daddy, but sometimes I feel lonely and I want someone to protect just like you protect me and take care of me when I'm a baby. She looked up at them, hopefully, her bottom lip still quivering. Jimin glanced at Vyan who was rubbing Haru's back soothingly. He could see the conflicting emotions in her eyes. She wanted another child, but she also knew how much of a responsibility it would be. He took a deep breath and decided to address both of their concerns. You know what, sweetheart? Mummy and Daddy love you very much and we want you to always feel loved and protected. We'll give you a baby brother or sister, okay? Jimin smiled down at Haru, trying to reassure her. In the meantime, though, he continued. You can always practice taking care of your baby dolls and playing with your friends at daycare. And you know, you can always talk to mommy or daddy if you ever feel lonely or scared. Haru sniffled a little, but her face brightened up. Okay, she said, wiping her nose on her sleeve. Can we go to the park and play after dinner, daddy? Jimin chuckled and ruffled her hair. Sure thing, pumpkin. After we clean up and have some dinner, we'll go to the park. Wine smiled at the interaction between her husband and daughter. 
she couldn't help but feel a twinge of guilt for not being more prepared for this conversation but she was relieved that jimin had handled it so well as they all sat there enjoying the moment together she couldn't help but wonder when the right time would be to start trying for another baby As the sun began to set, Wyan and Jimin tucked Haru into bed, giving her extra hugs and before leaving the room. They found themselves lingering in the hallway, leaning against the door frame, lost in conversation about their daughter and their future. The air was thick with the weight of their words. and Jimin couldn't help but feel a bit nervous so i guess we should start talking about when we want to start trying for another baby hmm he said his voice barely above a whisper why nodded her cheeks flushing slightly Yeah, I guess we should. She replied, glancing down at her feet. I know her really wants a baby brother or sister, but I don't want to rush into anything. We should talk to the doctor about it and make sure we're both emotionally and financially ready for another child. What do you think? Jimin agreed, nodding slowly. And maybe we can start trying in a few weeks or so, give ourselves some time to adjust to the idea and prepare everything. He smiled reassuringly at her. I love you, Ryan. And I'm ready for this adventure with you, no matter what it brings. Ryan felt a wave of relief wash over her at his words. I love you too, Jimin, and I'm so glad we have her no matter what else happens. They stood there in the dimly lit hallway, lost in each other's eyes. their love for their daughter and their unborn child radiating off of them in waves the night seemed to stretch out before them full of possibilities and promise as they turned towards their bedroom hand in hand They couldn't help but feel a sense of anticipation and excitement about the future that awaited them. It had been a year since Haru had started asking for a baby brother or sister. Jimin and Wyan went to the doctor, who had explained that they needed to wait a while before trying again. They had also discussed the possibility of adoption, but Haru had been adamant that she wanted a baby from a mistami. Finally, after a long discussion and lots of research, they decided to try for another baby. They were both nervous and excited, but they knew that their love for each other and their family would see them through.
On a warm spring evening, Wyan sat on the couch rubbing her swollen belly. She couldn't believe that in just a few months they would be welcoming a new addition to their family. Haru was playing with her dolls in the corner, practicing being a big sister. Jimin was in the kitchen cooking dinner. As they all sat down together, Wyan felt a sense of contentment wash over her. Despite the challenges that lay ahead, she knew that they were all in this together. So, how does it feel to be a big sister, Haru? Jimin asked, smiling at his daughter. Haru beamed with pride and said, It feels really good, Daddy. I can't wait to hold my baby brother or sister. Jimin and Wyan exchanged a look, feeling grateful for their daughter's maturity. The next few months passed by quickly and soon enough they were at the hospital waiting for their new baby to arrive. The anticipation was almost unbearable and Haru couldn't contain her excitement. Finally, after a long, Wyan gave birth to a beautiful baby boy. They named him Jihoon. As they held their newborn son in their arms, tears of joy streamed down their faces. Isn't he just the cutest thing you've ever seen, Haru? Wyan asked, her voice filled with wonder. Haru nodded, happily, her eyes never leaving her baby brother. He's perfect, mommy. I'm going to be the best big sister ever and teach him all about being brave and kind. Jimin smiled at his daughter, feeling an overwhelming sense of pride in her. As they brought their new family member home, Haru took on the role of big sister happily. She helped bathe the baby, change his diaper, and even read him stories at bedtime. Sometimes when Jimin or Wyan would catch her looking at her little brother with a look of awe and admiration, they couldn't help but feel a twinge of sadness for the lonely little girl who had once been so afraid of losing her parents' love. But in that moment, they knew that Haru had found her purpose and that their family was more complete than they could have ever imagined.